Hello, everyone. Welcome to Classitals Academic IELTS Academic Reading Summary Completion Session. Yes, it is so good to see some familiar faces. Hello, everyone. Today, I am welcoming you from my room. Yes. If you want, we can start slowly. Yes, hello, everyone. Hello, Sura. Hello, Shreya. Hello, Rajesh. Hello, Sabri. Hello, Suman. Welcome, everyone. Let me share my screen with you so we can start slowly. Yes. Today, we will do... Let me see. Today, we will do summary completion questions with you. I will be sharing with you some tips and strategies and we will do some questions and answer. Today, I am planning to uh, apply a different method. This time, we will read the whole passage and we will look at the vocabulary of them too. So we can learn some vocabulary in this time because we have a short paragraph and we have a long paragraph. So we can spend our time, take our time on, on our second paragraph. So we can learn how to paraphrase we can learn some new vocabulary maybe we will see because this type of questions summary completion questions are very open to like summarization uh, paraphrasing and the synonyms so this is a good advantage for us yes there are let me share my tips and strategies with you there are two types of summary completion in the first one you will choose from a text word list let me see my example no my example is not like that it's okay you will have a text box and you will have the word list and you will choose from that in the second one you will choose it from the text itself it is all about vocabulary vocabulary and the synonyms uh, the the text will be same and the, usually the questions come in same order but don't expect to find the answer in just one sentence they may take a paragraph and summarize a paragraph or they may take the whole passage and summarize the passage some way some in some way but you will see it like uh, if you have like some headlines it will make your life easier, but uh, look for the meaning. Again, we will look for the meaning, and in the summary, the text will be paraphr paraphrased, but we will use the same, um, the same words from the texts. So we won't change the words, we won't change anything, we will just look for the meaning and find the word and copy and paste it to our summary. Okay. Yes, we should locate the keywords in everything. We should locate the keywords and we should look for the keywords in the passage. In this one, I will do differently for you to learn some new things, but normally you should look for the keywords too. After we read the whole passage, of course we will look for the keywords. Do not change the form of the verse. I have said it. Do not write the synonyms. Use the words from the passage. Pay attention to grammatical structure, meaning, spelling, capital letters, and of course, word count. Always read the question very carefully. If it says like, uh, if it says two words, no more than two words, you should write just two words. Let's say the answer is dark nights. If you write the dark nights it will be accepted as wrong and you will lose some points so don't don't like fall to this trap if it says two words the answer should be dark nights and that's all yes if you enter the paper based exam you will see it like this complete the note complete summary it will be same and then you will transfer your answer to your answer sheet. This is it. 
if you take the computer based exam you will see the uh, you will see the questions like this and yes you can't hear me can others hear me yes ch you can you can go and come back if you if you take the computer based exam you will see the questions like this yes questions like this and the passage like this yes so far so good i hope so yes it says let's see our questions it says complete the summary using the list of words below write the correct letter a to g in the blanks given yes because it says like use the words from the lists uh, it doesn't have to say the word count it will be one uh, but it says write the correct letter a to g so if you write the words let's say one is complex if you write here complex it you will lose points because it says write the correct letter so you should write like a g something like that okay let's see it says the importance of language okay the marvel is invention okay the importance of language the wheel is one invention that has had a major impact on hmm they are all adjectives we don't know we can't know the answer do not do not try to guess the answer before before the before reading the passage because they are all uh, adjectives and impact on difficult aspects of life easy aspects of life complex aspects of aspects of life it can be anything so we are not jumping into conclusion we are reading the text but no impact has been as something as that of language language is very something fundamental yet composed of just a small number of sounds hmm maybe complex i don't know language appears to be easy to use i'm just making it up it will be an adjective however it's sophisticated its sophistic sophistication is often often overlooked okay let's see the wheel is one invention that has a major impact on something aspect of life let me see this marvel is intention of all mankind's ma manifold creation language must take pride in place other invention, the wheel, agriculture, sliced bread, may have transferred or our material existence, but the advent of language is what made us human. Compared to language, all other inventions pale in significance since everything we have ever achieved depends on the language and originates from it. Without language, we could never have embarked on our ascent to unparalleled power over all animals and even over nature itself. Okay, let's see. The wheel is one invention that has a major impact on... Hmm. Do you have any... Let me see the chat part. Very good, Shireya. Yes. Yes, it says other invention, the wheel, agriculture, sliced bread may have transferred our material existence, blah, blah. The wheel is one invention that has a major impact on what aspects of life from here. 
you can do it. You can do it, you can answer it. We are seeing the same one. We are seeing the same word. In the text, very good. I am sending the text from the chat part too, so you can, if you find the answer, you can write it too. Yes. The wheel is one invention that has a... Mm -mm -mm. Material existence, so it will be E. For the other parts, for the other question, I will wait for your answer, so you should answer. Let's continue. It says, but no impact has been as, as something as that of language. But the advent of language is what made us human. Compared to language, all the in inventions pale in significance since everything we have ever achieved depends on language and originates from it. Significance, significance. What can we use for this? It is very original. It is very G fundamental original oh, because it says originates. It says, compared to language, all other inventions pale in significance since everything we have achieved depends on language. For the depends on, we are using the synonym fundamental because it is so fundamental that everything depends on it. So it makes my answer G, fundamental, because everything depends on language and originates from it. Okay. Without language, we could never have embarked on our essence to unparalleled power over all other animals and even over nature itself. Let me see. Language is very something something. Yet composed of small numbers of sounds. Okay, we will look for sound and something. But language is foremost not just become because it comes first. In its own right, it is a tool of extraordinary sophistication. Yet based on an idea of ingenious simplicity. Hmm. Language is very yet. We should pay attention to this yet because it's itself something comparing something. Uh, this marvelous invention of composing a 25 or 30 sound that infinite variety of expression which whilst having in themselves no likeness to what is it, what is in our mind allow us to disclose the others its whole secret to make known to those who cannot penetrate it or that we imagine and all the various steering of our soul wow I think we should stop here because I think we will find the language appears to use. Okay. So 
sophistication, simplicity. And it says, language is very, yes, you are right, B, complex. They can write the other two, E, G, B, yes, yet composed of just a small number of sounds. Language appears to be something to use. Okay. Uh, e is gone. G is gone and B is gone. We have difficult, admired, original, and easy. Language ap appears to be something to use. Very, very. Mm -hmm. This was how, in 1660, the renowned French grammarians, the Port Loyal Abbey, the, 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 I'm just skipping this part, celebrated more eloquently the bank. Hmm. Where is the answer? I think answer lies here too again. Okay, let's see. Language appears to be to use. However, its sophistication is often overlooked. What do you think can be the answer? Very good, Shreya. No, this is section, I think this is, I have taken it from the section two. Second last line. Thank you. Oh, yes. Even so, there is just one flaw in these types of frame. For the homage to language, unique accomplishment conceals a simple yet critical incognito. Yes. Thank you very much. It is F. Is it clear? I have taken it, do you see? I have taken it from a Cambridge exam and it is just two paragraphs. And we are, make, we are uh, making the summary of these two paragraphs. Okay. So you will see it. So you will see it like the uh, most probably, probably you will see it taking up two paragraph, three paragraph from a text, and you will see questions about it. Okay, this is our second paragraph, second passage. It is the dollar a year, man. Yes. In this one, we will read the whole text and we will look for the vocab vocabulary. If you want, of course, let's see our question i haven't read read it i'm sorry it is use uh, what was my use up to three words you can use one two or three words in this one I haven't write it, sorry. At most, it will be three words or a number. Okay, let's see. John Lomack's project. So we have a title. Okay, Lomack began the research for this project by looking at... Mm, I'm just writing something that were not available in the book form. So it won't be a verb, it will be a noun. Looking at, uh, looking at book, at a book, 
that were not available in the looking at songs that were not available in the book form as well as certain books okay while he was doing this research he met someone who ran a department at the hmm, department he met someone who ran a department at the I think again I am expecting a noun and it says Washington so maybe it should be something about the department so it should be something with the government thing or something like that so it will be something related to the government I think because it says Washington and it says department as a result of this contact, he was provided with very latest kind of, very latest kind of ice cream, very latest kind of something. So it will be a noun. Let's continue. Lomax believed that the places he should concentrate on where, where, on where, were hmm, were placing in south of the US and this is my keyword south of the US and believe that the places he should concert, concentrate on were hmm, were placing in the south maybe it is verb placing or it can be a noun again I, I'm not sure, on where wastelands in the south of the U.S. maybe. Okay, let's continue. While he and his son were on their trip, they added as places where they could find what they were looking for. They were added something somewhere places where they where they could find what they were looking for okay now we have that information place organization info yes this is very true in the second one looking at something in the second one i'm looking for a, a organization and in the third one i'm looking for a noun and goes like this okay let me read it the dollar a year man. In the early of 1930, folklorist, platform lecturer, college professor, and former banker John Avery Lomax was trying to recapture, recapture, recap, replay, like the replay, capture it again, capturing it again, capturing the essence of something a sense of direction for his life. For two decades, he had enjoyed a national reputation for his pioneering work, pioneering, pioneering means like being the leader of something, pioneering being in the first in position of something pioneering word in collecting and studying American folk songs. No less a figure than President Theodore Roosevelt had admired his work and had written a letter of support for him as he sought grants for research. So, so, so means seek. It means like looking for. Support for him as while while he was looking for grants, grants like the money, charity money. He's looking for grants for his research. He had always dreamed of finding a way of making a living by doing the thing he loved best, collecting folk songs. But 
he was now beginning to wonder if he would ever realize that dream. Realize, let me see. Realize has two meanings to you. Realize can mean like uh, making some, some realize. It is there and you are seeing it. It is realizing something. And also realize can mean make something happen. Make something true. Realizing the dream. Make something true that dream. Let's continue. Lormax wanted to embark. Oh, by the way. Did we find our answer? Let me see. Lomax began the research for his project by looking at. Mm -hmm. Let me see. In the book, book for. Okay. We haven't seen anything about the books. Okay. Lomax wanted to embark on a national nationwide collecting project, resulting in as many as four volumes and complete rehabilitation of American folk songs. Okay. Eventually, this was modified to where he envisioned a single book tentatively called American Ballads and Folk Songs songs designed to survey the whole field. It's called for the first hand field collecting and will especially focus on neglected, uh, neglected area of black folk music. Mm -hmm. In 92, Lomax traveled to New York and stopped to see a man, blah, blah, of the Macmillan Company. He informally outlined his plans to let him and read him the text of the early African American blues band ballad called Ida Red. Oh, if you don't know any word, you can ask me in this part. Because this is a vocabulary session too, so you can ask if you don't know any word. You can write it from the chat part and you can ask me. Du, du, du. Leighton was impressed, impressed. And two days later, Lomax had a contract, a small check to bind in and an agreement to deliver manuscript about one year later. Mm, that's why the dollar a year man. The spring of 1932 began to look more green, lush, and full of promise. So look began to look more green. They are using green, of course. They are using the word green to to express joy. Fun. I am just ending it. Yes. Let me see. Um, can I uh, speak? 
Yes, of course. Um, is it uh, the neglected area? Could be the answer for the first part, like the first plan. For the first question. Yeah. Neglected area. Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I see it. Actually, it says, let's answer the Lomax began to research for his project by looking at that were not available in the book, book form as well as at certain books. Du, du, du. Actually, we will come to that part. That's why we couldn't see it. Okay, let's go uh, fastly. In 1903, Lomax traveled to New York, blah, blah, impressed. The spring of 1933 began to look more green, lush, and full of promise. Long, now we are continuing. Lomax immediately set to work. He traveled to libraries at Harvard, the Library of Congress, Brown University, and elsewhere in order to explore unpublished song collections and to canvas the folk songs books published over the past 10 years. Mm -mm -mm. In here, yes, very good. It is song collections. Because in the paragraph D, it says, immediately set to work, so this is my uh, begin the research for this project by looking at this is my keywords. So actually, my summary begins in the paragraph D. In order to explore unpublished song collections, so if they are unpublished, it means they are not at the books. Let's continue. During his stay in the Washington DC, now we are coming to here, Lomax became friendly with Carl Engel, music division chef of the Library of Congress. Let me see. Hmm. While he was doing his research, he met someone who ran a department at the It is here at music division, department, division, chief of the, what? Very good. Pay attention to the capital letters too. Do not forget to write them with the capitals in the exam too. It is okay here, but please do not forget to write them with capitals. This is important, and I don't want you to lose points because of the capital letters. Very good. Engel felt that Lomax had necessary background and energy to some way direct the archive of the folk songs. Very good for him. As a result of this contact, he was provided with the very latest kind of something for, for this project. I am reading to question three. As a result of this contact, he was provided with the very latest kind of something for this project. You can write everything in the capitals too. Don't forget, there is no big E in English. There is only big I in English. I'm sure that you know that, but I'm just reminding you. Let me see. Blah, blah, true funds provided that Lomax ordered a state-of-the-art, a portable recording message, I mentioned. I think this is my answer. True funds provided by the Council of Learned Societies and Library of Congress, Lomax ordered a state-of-art, portable recording machine, Let's continue reading. More important, the Library of agreed to furnish blank records and to lend their name on this on his collecting Lomax. Lomax simply had to agree to deposit he completed records at the Library of Congress, so did so did so without hesitation. 
on July 15, was appointed as an honorary consultant for a dollar a year. Could you catch the answer? Yes, Rajesh, this is very nice. It is portable recording. Oh, let me write it in the, in the questions. Project by looking at uh, some collections, we said yes. Who ran at the department, what was it? Uh, Library of Congress. That is kind of portable recording machine. If it is well, if it is was asking for two words, most probably we will write this recording machine. If it is asking for one word, we will probably write machine. But you can write up to three words. So it, that's why it is portable recording machine. Yes, let's continue. We have Lomax believed that the places he should come the places he should concentrate on were in the south of the US. So this is my keyword. I will be looking into it, south of the US. We were here. Yes. Let me look for the south of the US. Mm -hmm. In order to fulfill their quest, the two men concentrate on the sections of the sword with a high percentage of, bl percentage of blacks. Okay. Mm. Okay. Together with his 18 years old song, a task lasted four months. This fact, along his early production of the African American folk, led Lomax to decide that black folk music from rural areas should be primary focus. Okay, let me see my keywords. My keywords are concentrate on were blah blah in this heart of us yes i think so too rajesh you are right i was expecting to see something like the verb ing too but it is different it is a name lomax believed that the places he should concentrate on were rural areas in this heart of the us it says it says places so I am writing in the plural form because it has S2, it, it is plural too. So it is rural places, I, areas, sorry. Bo, uh, folk music from the rural areas should be primary focus. This both determination, United States, but black folk music, the two men concentrate on the section of the sword with a high percentage of blacks. This also pinpointed labor incomes, particularly lumber incomes, which employs blacks almost ex ex exclusively. But as they went along, prisons and penitentiaries also um, emerged as a focal point, focal point of research. Hmm. Focal means, let me see. Ah, where did it go? Focal means like the center, like 
that point. Okay, let's look at five. While he and his son were on their trip, they added something as places where they could find what they were looking for. Okay. The two men, two men concentrated on section of the sword with a high percentage of blacks. They also pinpointing laboring comes, lubricums, but okay, as they went along, prisons and penitentiaries are also em emerged as a focal point for research. So do we have an answer? Yes. Yes. They were looking for something. So what is my key point? This is the last question. So you can do it. I'm expecting an answer from everyone. It says, two men concentrated on the section of the sword with a high person's job flex. Okay. They also pinpoint the labor incomes, particularly lumber incomes, which employed blacks almost exclusively. But as they went along, so they are continuing, they are adding some things. Prisons and penitentiaries also em emerged as a focal point for research. So what do you think others? Suraj, I haven't heard from you. What do you think about these questions? No one else? Suma, you were always very eager to answer. What do you think about that question? You can open your microphone too. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, I understand. Okay, it says two men concentrate on the section of the sword with a high percentage of blacks. They also pinpointed laboring camps, so they are also going to that ones. And particularly lumber comes, which employed blacks almost exclusively. But as they went along, prisons and penitentiaries also emerged as a focal point for research. And in the sentence, it says, while he and his son were on their trip, they added some, some places so maybe I could think it is like the laboring camps and the lumber camps, but they are already going to that places. And it continues. My text is continuous. They are saying prisons and pe penitentiaries also emerged. So they they were they come to the surface, emerge as a focal point for research. So they add prisons and Penitentiaries too. Let me see. Prisons and peni penitentiaries. These. Oh. Yes, that one is correct. They were they were visiting that place the places and they added prisons and penitentiaries. Can I? No, I can't do it from here. But it's okay. You can just copy and paste the answer if you are taking the computer-based exam. And if you are taking the uh, paper-based exam, you can go and like um, look and write the same thing. It will be okay. I where am I? Won't be. 
Yes. And Lomax believed that the places he should concentrate on were rural areas. Why? Hmm. Yes, I did it. <laughs> I think I think I couldn't write this one from the chat, but I just wrote it wrong. But it's okay. It is that fun. Okay, so my answer started at D. Dup, dup, dup. And it ends in here. So it was just the focusing on paragraph D and E. I have a long paragraph. I have a long text, but it just concentrates on two things, two paragraphs. So I should find my keyword, for example, Lomax began the research. Okay. And I see Washington and I see sort of the US. So I should look for immediately set the word, set the word, set to something means beginning something. And let me see what else I have. Washington, DC, again, my uh, keywords. Where is it? African United States. So these are my keywords. And from that, that point, I can find my answer and I can find my paragraphs. So you don't have to read the whole text. You just need to uh, find the keywords and you should understand the meaning because they are changing the words. But you are taking the same words and not changing them. And you are copying and pasting them. And this is, I think this is from, uh, this is from part three. So this is a little bit difficult again. Do you have any questions to me, for me, about the classicals web page? Was it easy? Just one. Yes. And could you please explain the ruler area one? I didn't get that because as it says in the south, one is the key uh, keyword and it comes after the answer. So I am not getting how are we going for the ruler area because it says that it is an uh, African-American folk culture. So I'm not getting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am taking it from the here. Let me Let me see the question again. Lomax believed that the places he should concentrate on blah, blah, in the south of the U.S. Okay. D-E. It was in the E. Okay. Let me take it from here. Lomax Library Research had reinforced his belief that a third of Black folk songs material existed in the printed collections. This fact, along, along his early appreciation of the American African African-American folk culture led Lomax to decide that black folk music from rural areas should be primary focus. From here, I have primary focus. They are changing. Let me write it from this chat part. They are saying primary focus. And in the, at the question, they are saying Uh, low monks should concentrate. Low monks should concentrate, focus. They are using it as, a, as synonyms and they are expecting us to write the rural areas. Low monks believe that the places he should concentrate on were in the south of the US. Then as I continue, let me see. Hmm. It says rural areas should be primary focus. 
This bold determination resulted in the in the first major trip in the United States, blah, blah. And two men concentrated on sections of sour with a high percentage of blacks. Okay, I'm looking at this sentence and there is nothing that I can write to that here. Zoe must believe that the places he should concentrate on were... I can write with a high percentage of blacks. This is too much word. I can't say were fields in the south of the U.S. But for, for the field, it's it's just referring to a whole place, the outside. So I can't say it in the field. We're in the field in the south of in the field. We're fields in the south of the United. No. So there is actually nothing as I can write to here. They also pinpointed no. So the most logical one here goes back and it is the rural areas. Because it says rural areas should be primary focus too. Is it more clear now? Yes, yes, yes. I I just got confused because the keywords that we mentioned earlier were south. So, like, if I'll be doing that, I'll be moving ahead and looking at the keyword and then looking for the answer, like close to the south, and then so that's why that's why confused. It is it was confusing for me. Thank yes. you. Yes, you are right. It is like a little bit. It is here, and the, my my keywords are here. So yes, you are right. It is a little bit confusing. I am happy if you could explain it to you. Now, my dear students, we have a little... We have a little survey too. It will just take 30 seconds of your time. I will be glad if you can do it. Oops. Yes, we did a reading lessons and my name is Burchin. If you could just do it, I will be very glad. I enjoyed it too. I think it was a nice lesson. And I like summary completion questions too because like they are like they're focusing on a point. They want you to understand. That's why I like it. When you complete the uh, survey, you can leave. I will be here a little bit if you have any extra questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Shreya. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you, Rajesh. Thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed it. Goodbye.